all room. I got a few pictures out there under my card. All right, you, that was too, that was too, he didn't tell y'all the real story. The man is an artist with his hands. Yes, yes. I seen, listen to me now. He came and did some work for me. And let me tell you what I like about him. I'm not gonna lie for nobody. I'm not gonna lie, I'm telling y'all that now. Because then y'all come looking at me, pastor said, don't act, I'm telling you now. When he came and did that work for me, what I like is he's a young man, right? Yeah. But he wasn't walking around every five minutes on his phone. Y'all should shout right there. He was professional. He was clean. The man wouldn't even walk through. I said, man, my grass ain't nice, man. Go and walk through the grass. He went, listen to me now. He, this is what he did. And I've seen his work in pictures. The man built decks. Extra pump, listen, add-ons to rooms, all kinds. He didn't, he didn't quite tell you his true huh, ability. The man can do anything with his hands. And I'm telling you this. I mean, I, I was fine asking him. I had him other doing other stuff. I was like, man, listen, why I got you here? Why I got you here? He can hang, listen, windows, windows, sidings, doors, everything. He did yours. Look, see, I love it. They, 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 all, they all working with each other. You got some stuff out there? Yeah, I got stuff. So now, I know they want to add. I know they want to get a deck put on. I know they need a new porch. I know they need handicap ramps. I know they need all of that. Yeah. Who are you going to see? Ryan. Brother Ryan. Come on, y'all. Thank the Lord. We're going to preach, but I just got to keep moving today. Amen. All right, we'll work our way back to the front. Yes, sir and ma'am. Um, we have a um, substance abuse case business where we help people with addictions make a full and final recovery. Um, we link them to community services, help with housing. Um, we have 12-step recovery. And now we have a transformation now component that helps them um, work on the inside. And we're licensed by the Virginia Department of Behavioral Health and Developmental Services. Amen. We also have a thrift store that we take donations for, and that's to help support the, uh, the substance abuse case management. Um, our, uh, our transformation component uh, uh, is a wonderful guy. You guys all know him. His name is Pastor Rob Scarborough. Amen. He, uh, I, I got a job, y'all. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't wait to tell it, you know what I'm saying, because I, I, get, I get a lot from him. Um, he comes in, and he, uh, we have a lot of people that's, that's lost, y'all. They lost. They need help. They need to be free. Um, I, I do the 12-step um, recovery, but what I got won't work without what he had, and, and he works out great for us. Amen. Did y'all hear what we just, now listen, everybody here has family members that are affected by some sort of an addiction, they're coming out, they're in recovery, they need recovery, they need the correct. Listen, I have witnessed these people will take the place of almost parenting them back to a place where they are rehabilitated, where they are brand new. And I'm telling you this, uh, when they hired me, I had to go in and do all of the stuff. They won't, listen, this is a real deal. They didn't give me no, I had to go in and get fingerprinted and get, put in a resume, I had to do everything. And then they, this would blew my mind, I'll tell y'all this much, because I ain't telling y'all all my business, amen. <laughs> when I went in, I said, how do I make this secular? Because what do you want me to do? Because I only know one thing. I know Jesus Christ crucified, amen. amen. And I said, how do I do this? They said, we watch you do it every week. And, and this is what they said to me. They said, there are different initiatives now put in, even by the governmental powers, that they have opened the doors for spiritual based support. So at one time, they didn't want you to do that. Now, they want that, which opened up another component to their whole movement called transformation. So the stuff y'all seen us do last year where we loving on people, I got in my first class, and I said, okay, I I'm going to do a professional. I ain't going to say a whole lot about Jesus. You know, I got to do this. This is, you know, I got to figure out how we can do it and slide it in, right? And they said, no way. They said, not only that, we found out you can use the Bible as your curriculum. Wow. Did y'all hear what I just said? Yeah. So they're going to they gonna give me a check <laughs> to do what I've been doing. That's wow, good. Wow, wow. 
for free my whole life. When I went into the first class, I took it serious. I went in with a true agenda. I didn't go in there to preach. I didn't try to have church. I went in there to be professional, and, and God still showed up in the first class. Amen. By the time we got finished, a mother and daughter was in tears, confessing that they forgive each other. And God began to move in the class. So keep us up in prayer. If you have family members, they are covered, they are insured, they, are, uh, they go through insurance, as you've already heard, and they can help. Amen. amen. They will help. We will help. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. All right. Come on, Sister Anna. Business is called Envisions Event Planning Service. I've had my business license since 2006, so I plan and coordinate any type of event you want, um, family reunions, picnics, business meetings, weddings, which I recently did a couple here not hey. too long ago. Amen. And um, so that's what I do. That's, that's what you do. We all, listen to me, all the time y'all like to be doing something. I know, I watch y'all on Facebook. You will coordinate birthday parties. Bridal showers, weddings. You will do anything except give up your testimony. Is that the truth? <laughs> now, she don't play, she gonna get it done. This is what I know about Sister Tammy. She's not afraid to tell people no. She's not afraid to tell people yes. Amen. That's what you need when you're trying to put together and get an event done. Somebody say amen. amen. When you need that, who will you call? Amen. Sister Tammy, amen. amen. Come on, sir. My name is Doretha Winkler Bowers. I do business with my maiden name, Doretha Winkler. The name of my company is I Am Meetings and Events. I also am uh, a meeting planner. I am certified meeting professional. <laughs> I've been in the business for 20 years, uh, 18 of those years at the Richmond Convention and Visitors Bureau. And I left um, in 2016, July 2016, to start my own business because they made me so mad. And, and God wouldn't That's make right. them move. So he said, Doretha, you can do this on your own. Yeah. <laughs> and so I left, and that's the name of my business. I, I was uh, intending to do a lot of focus on um, religious market, thus the name I Am, meetings and events, and giving God honor for that. Mm -hmm. And I'm also uh, SWAM certified with small women and minority. And I'm on this uh, government website, uh, the EVA website. There's a website where states, um, other businesses put their information where you can bid on. So I often go on there and bid on things. I do a lot for Virginia Department of Health. They have looked out for me. Um, when I first started my business, when, when I uploaded my information onto the EVA website, Department of Health called me directly. She says, I see that there's a new meeting planner on the website and I wanted to give you a try. And that mm. was in March of 2017. Come on. And so I think I do about three or four meetings for them every, three or four meetings a month for them since then. And um, wow. there are a few meetings that I also bid on that I've been blessed by God to um, be able to get those as well. Amen. So, uh, information is outside. Did y'all hear that? Somebody's already heard the testimony is in the repeat service. Are you listening? Amen. When you have those needs, and listen, sometimes I see them posted on Facebook, and a lot of you don't pay attention, maybe you should, you'll see how beautiful that they are, and the, 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 the magnitude, the, um, how the, the different groups that are distinguished that she's serving, amen, you know what I like about it? The name of it is called I Am, amen. oh come on somebody, amen. that's powerful, amen, come on Vangie, amen. Amen, I'm Joan Boyd, an evangelist, and um, I own and operate a personal care agency, nursing agency, where I take care of the sick and the elderly. My heart's calling. And um, it's been, I've been in business for about 12 years. I also provide jobs for RNs, LPNs, CNAs, uh, personal carriers, companions, whatever. We just uh, also uh, joined in with a transportation company where we provide medical transportation added to the business. So God is moving. It's called Blessed Hands and Heart. God gave me the name. And when he gave me the name, he told me not to advertise, that people will be drawn by the name. And 90% of the people that call say, I love your name. I got your name off a list out of about 100 different agencies, and I love that name. So God ordained it, God called it, and God is moving it. Amen. 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 
y'all should already know, you already should know. If you don't know, if you don't know Evangelist Boyd, I think you should. Amen. She can meet all of your senior um, health care uh, needs. Uh, um, and you heard, I don't want to mess up what she said so beautifully. But she's able to do it. And what I love about it is she's able to do it with integrity. So I'm so grateful today. Amen. I like, listen, y'all hear the name? Bless hands and hearts. Come on, somebody. Everybody in here has older people and know older people and love older people. Put them in care. Put them in their hands. And listen, we'll go out and pay money to people we don't know. We'll go out and spend money with people we know nothing about their heart. We know nothing about where they come from, what they are in it for. It is something different when you're spending your money with people who you know their hearts. Yeah. And this is a blessed hand, and this is a blessed heart. Amen? Amen. 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 This is my mama, y'all. All right. Come on. Um, I have a daycare learning center. Um, this year in March will be 21 years. I'm state licensed by the state of Virginia, and um, I have 33 years of experience in, in, in daycare. I directed a daycare for two years and did it in my home for eight years, and at the center, 21 years in March. I uh, take ages 16 months to 13, to they turn 13, and um, we open at 6, we close at 6, we serve breakfast, lunch, and an afternoon snack. We have a curriculum, and um, come and see us. We're licensed for 100 children. So come and see us, because we need to fill some spaces. Amen. Amen. We do a lot of, um, we have a good summer program where we do field trips and um, all different kinds of activities and things like that. This year, we're not doing um, the Black History for the month. We're doing it for the year. Hey. Because there's so many inventors, we found out that, that? a month would, wouldn't even begin to touch yeah, into it. Right. But um, I want to just invite you all. We do serve good, healthy meals. and. Your, chil your children, a lot of kids from here have been there. Amen. And a lot of kids Amen. that we have raised are right. coming back and bringing their children. So I'm feeling real good. Amen. 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 And our prices are the best. They got the best prices. And let me tell you this. I yeah, how you forget that? Signs and Wonders Daycare. Amen. Look at Signs the names of wonders. our businesses. And you know, the, the Lord gave me the, that daycare because um, at this point, Gave me the, the, the um, logo and that daycare because I was I was directing a daycare and he closed it up. But anyway, the Lord told me that I would be getting children that other people wouldn't be able to handle. And I'm telling you all, I have a little girl just this week in kindergarten, failed kindergarten, and been kicked out of the Richmond Public Schools three weeks before the before the holiday. Kicked back out again. Every time she goes, she's kicked back out again. And so I take her to school to and they said to me. You got her sitting beside you like that? I'm like, what did she do? They're like, you got to see her. She's running all around. She don't listen. Da, da, da. She's sitting still like that. They're amazed. So they said, well, she can't come back until she have a meeting. So I took her back on Friday, had her done real well and everything because self-esteem means a whole lot. That's right. That's right. And I get kids where, where parents are strung out and all kinds of things. So I did her hair and dressed her up. When I walked in, you would have thought she was a star. They said, look at her hair. Everybody came just to look at her hair. You know, just the things like that. Yeah. Our daycare is blessed. We're not just there just to take, make right. money because right. we don't make a lot. We are there to touch the hearts of the little people. Amen. So Amen. bring your children and we'll definitely touch their, touch their heart because our theme is your child is the heart of our, of our ministry. Amen. 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 And if you, if, if you need a character reference, that is the woman that raised me. Amen. So Amen. I can tell you now. Amen. I can tell you. No, she don't spank them, but she will spank me. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Oh, you ain't said nothing. Somebody said you ain't said nothing about your yarn. Yeah, oh, yeah. You Look, all right, hurry up, man. Oh, you got to be equally fair. I have. You talk That's quick. not fair. I do have a, another, another gift where I uh, um, do uh, crafts, uh, crochet, and I can make pretty much so anything. And um, the flowers on the table out there are it's called Stitches of Love. So if you need hats, scarves, dress, whatever you need, I'm, I'm doing. I'm gonna be into the shoes next, next time, next thing. But <laughs> whatever you need, you can get it from Stitches of Love. These hands of love, Amen. 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 Mother McLaughlin, come on. Simply Divine Designs is my business. Um, it oh, yeah. is flower designs and wreaths, bouquets. Everything for a wedding, and I was 
blessed to do, I believe, two weddings last year, um, the Fosters and the... <laughs> Marquita and, and Brother Ryan. <laughs> they did weddings on, on last year, so um, my um, photo album is in the uh, fellowship hall. Amen. And listen, let me tell y'all this. Did y'all see the anniversary last year? Yeah, yeah. That thing was unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. My, uh, my sister's reception, I'm just telling you my testimony. Right. It was so beautiful, you would have thought we had a budget of a million dollars. And I'm telling you, that's what people can do when they've been gifted to do what they do. This is the woman that prays for many of you and helps with her husband as well to yeah. lead up the, the Saturday morning sacrificial prayer team. So she'll set your table and then pray. That God will set it in the face of your enemy. Come on, somebody. Amen. Say amen. 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 Come on, Sister Belinda. Come on. Hello, hi. My name is Belinda Roney, and my business is called Heaven in a Bowl, uh, where I meet all your catering needs. What do you go? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you, have done, I, you have done some catering for the yes. church and for members of the church, weddings? Yes. Sir. Now, why I'm telling you stuff, and I know. Well, I, cause I know about our members now. I'm telling you, I I was there. I saw y'all running around. Y'all had on hair necks. That means something. Y'all can say what y'all want to say. Y'all can say what y'all want. They had gloves on. I know I'm the only one that care about stuff like that. Whatever. I do. But and 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 they were professional and they do and you so you're able to come out to events, which means we can work together. Because while y'all are uh, housing these events. When you have and you need somebody to come in and bring the food and different things, you don't have to call Golden Skillet or whoever y'all call it or Leeds. What's the name of it again? Heaven in a Bowl. Heaven in a Bowl. Amen. Boy, I tell you. Y'all, did y'all hear that? Come on and say amen. All right, I'm coming on back. Come on, brother. How you doing? My name, my company is Precise Locating. I mark underground utilities, and that's on the business card, but I also can help you find your property corners on your property if you want to put up a fence or anything. Just want to know where your land starts and begins. All right. Amen. 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 You don't have to fight nobody over your yard. Right. Listen, this brother is on the road now. He, he launched out, stepped out in business, uh, left the company. Like some of y'all say, I got mad. That's what it takes sometimes yeah. to get angry with getting used and being abused and mistreated. He stepped out ever since then. If it's fair for me to say it, they've, they've been calling you. And you're now almost competing with the people that you work for and beating them. Amen. Come on, somebody. Y'all can, so you know anyone that has those needs. Amen. Y'all remember this year I told y'all what happened with that pipe underground my house? Yeah. This is, there it is. If I had known what I really know. And I was able to even ask him a few things about that. So the needs are met right in house. Amen. Amen. Young man. All right. My name is Monty. I work on iPhone screens. If they're cracked or broken, uh, I also work on PCs. Oh, see, they, they, Lord, they, 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 hold on, hold on, brother Monty. You just said something about a phone. Go ahead. I'll work on phones uh, from Apple. If you guys have cracked screens, I'll be more than happy to fix them. Uh, I also work on PCs, sort of the newer generation PCs, uh, to get them faster, to help clear everything if you guys want to delete stuff off of them. I also build streaming PCs, which are high-end PCs made for gaming, businesses, or live streaming, such as I do. And I also make business cards with Photoshop and uh, the other video editing I do for Sony Vegas Pro. And that's a very high-end video editor. So that's my business. That's what I like. To how do. old are you? 17. No, hold on. Tell them how old are you? I'm 17. How old you are? All right, 17. Now, I know y'all only heard one thing, that he can fix a phone. Because somebody over there got quicken. I saw that somebody, the Holy Ghost got a hold of somebody. About that iPhone, they had everybody holding a cracked phone. One at a time, please. Amen. Thank God for young men. Come on, sister. Hi, I'm Rhonda Burrell, and my business is Imagination, Printing, and Design. And so basically, I do business cards, brochures, websites, programs, invitations, um, shirts, apparel, pretty much just about anything you need, I can pretty much do it, so. Come on, Amen. what's the name of it again? Imagination Printing and Design. Imagination, think about that for a minute, y'all. 
printed is and, 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 and think about it. The name of it is imagination. But if you look at it, how it's spelled, I hope I'm not saying this wrong. Am I right? It's image nation because her business is providing you with the image. She can come up with from. Listen to me. If you need an idea about the right image or the right uh, uh, graphic design, the right logos, she can make them from scratch. It's a gift. She's done many things for the church, many, many things for the church, many things for us personally, family reunions, you name it. She can do it, anything. And let me tell you why that's so important, because everybody in business need those things to push their business. That's right. Can you, and so who you going to see? Sister, Sister Rhonda. Rhonda Burrell. Come Amen. on, y'all. Amen. Amen. Who? JG. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> How y'all doing? Y'all all right? I got a couple things I need to plug real quick. Miss Rhonda just did a price list revamp for me, so we can support our people. Um, I'm the owner of JT's Bob and Beauty. Um, like I said, I got a few things going on right here. Also, I'm affiliated with uh, Premier Auto Solution and Sales. So if you need some wheels to turn, whether you need Jaguars or Pintos, just let us know. <laughs> All right? And uh, coming soon, I'm about to put it out here today. I mean, tomorrow I'm going to work on a JT's Barbecue. So um, I have a food trailer that I'm going to be uh, Come on, right? having down at, at my shop. I just got my business license and everything covered for that. But like I said, if you need some barbecue, you need to put it in a vehicle to ride it in. And if you need your hair cut, come see me. All right. Amen. Come on, y'all. Shout amen. Now, I have witnessed this. I've seen it firsthand. I've been to the auction with Brother JT and some of his partners. Y'all going they, they, they in here. I don't know if they want me to say their name. They're not members, but we claim them anyway. But if you're looking for a vehicle, once again, I know it's tax time. I know what y'all do with y'all money. So I already know. Don't go to listen. I can say this. this listen, these y'all my family. Don't you go down there on Chamberlain Avenue. Yes. I didn't call no name. And go spend money with people who don't care about you. Amen. Now, Amen. I'm not trying to degrade nobody. I'm saying that because I can remember going into those places because I wanted to ride a fancy car, and they'll give it to you, okay? But they'll give it to you at the expense, in some cases, of your dignity. Yeah. I can remember walking into one place on Chamberlain, and, and, and I learned them over time. They're not, I'm not saying they're the, most, they're the worst people. They're okay, but what I'm telling you is I remember walking in, and they saying to me, uh, yeah, what you going to do? I mean, can you imagine this? This is how they talk to me. Literally, I'm not making this up. Saying, what you going to do? You're going to buy it. you know what car or what. This is how they talk to you. While you're spending your money because you and we and us, we allow for it. People will continue to mistreat us in our communities for as long as we continue to patronize and spend our money with people who don't respect us. Does that make sense? Now, let me tell you what I know about this dude at the auction when we go back car. We used to go back car. And I didn't ever get to finish with it, but... I'm glad he's back in it, and let me tell you why. Because part of his problem is, I don't know how he'll ever make no money. Because he's so worried about making sure you get something that he don't have to worry about it coming back or you being hurt or mistreated. If you know Minister JT, you know that's true about him. He's Amen. not out to take from you. Doesn't that mean something to y'all? And then you have seen us, even in the ministry, bless people with vehicles, give vehicles. Are you listening? What's the name of the call out? Again. Premier Auto Solutions, and the, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Just lift your hand. Brother Steve and Sister Nicole, just lift your hand. Come on, don't act like that. Stand up. Thank you, man. Now, listen, they're going to take care of you. They have financing and everything that they can get you squared away, whatever you need. They got all types of vehicles. They're clean. They care. They're going to give you warranties, all kind of things. So that's important to know, and it's nice stuff. Okay, I put my, I stand behind, I believe there's, there's good stuff. I watch how they conduct themselves when they're buying the stuff. They ain't just looking for the first deal that they can ring you up on. They're looking for things that you can ride away and they can go to sleep at night. Is that all right? Amen, I like that. What's the address? 3750 Pocahontas Trail. Barbecue place coming. I don't have to, I shouldn't have to plug barbecue. 
You already should know. And you already know JT's barber. Come on, somebody. Amen. Um, hair care, whatever you need, we've got it right here in the Word Amen. Church. Is there anybody else? Amen. Yes. Okay, call out. She's got product out there. Uh, one of our new members. Yes, she Mother got, Day. Yeah. Come on, what's she holding back on us about? I don't know. I want to know about a book I saw with her name on it. And didn't author. say nothing. You know, thank you. <laughs> thank you for telling on it. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> My name is Mary Day, and I have I do have a book on the table uh, from Roadkill to Angel Food that God um, directed me to write in 2013. Um, I had to write it. copyrighted and um, Petersburg Library bought a copy and they said that uh, for the local writers they would have a copy uh, throughout as long as the world is here so people can read about my story but um, in 1997 I did have a business and I ended it in uh, 2015 uh, it was desktop publishing office services and um, and it was with a personal touch I also did bookkeeping but I still do love to do uh, organizing because I'm a troubleshooter. We got problems getting the office set up. I can come in and straighten it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did y'all just hear that? This is Mother Day, by the way, y'all. If you're like me, I'm very unorganized. I am, that is definitely my weakest point of my whole everything. It's always been. I always had a book bag full of papers. There's every, that's how it's always been. And Lord knows it's a curse. that got to be broken over my son. But I'm telling you now, uh, th to have these needs, you need somebody to come in and set up and organize. Put your paperwork in order. You'll d listen, a lot of business gets messed up because we don't have the things in the right place. And when the people come in to check and inspect, we don't have things in place. These gifts are there so that you can get it done. Just because you can cut grass don't mean you know how to do the paperwork. So allow different people to flow in their gifts so that you can, listen, she can come over and set your stuff up. You can go over and cut her grass. Do you understand? Amen. That's what it's about. Amen? Yes, yes. Last but not least, come on, brother. Amen. Amen. 